What's good, everybody? It's your boy Kama. We back with another video. Yeah, man, real quick, right? As you can see, as you're seeing that clip, the boys are officially back. It's one of the best times of the year. Training camp is officially underway. Our quarterback is back, number four. Um, he's actually the least of my concerns because his, his game is not predicated off of um, just his athletic ability. Like, he actually knows how to process the D. I feel like when you know how to process the defense and you got accuracy and you actually throw the ball with the weapons we got and the run game support he can have with Zeke and Tony Pollard, I think it's nothing really to worry there about. Um, today's news, though, we got um, Tank Lawrence and um, Mario Cooper starting the um, training camp off on the pup list. How do I feel about that? Well, how I feel about it is I'm not concerned, you know what I'm saying? So I actually think it'd be better for, with especially, well, I already expressed how I felt about Coop. I know Coop has the, he has the, I'm not sure if it's more of a, these guys are veterans, give, we already know what, what they are. Like, get them a few days off or let them start to see, off slow, we know what they is. Because especially in a, in a Tank Lawrence situation, because we got things that we're gonna figure out on defense, so it will it will pay dividends for our defensive line to see who else really got talent, who can show out against that old line in the camp. You know what I'm saying? We know what Tank Lawrence is. We know what Coop is. They know the um, more so for Coop. He knows the offense. It's the same offense. I mean, I'm quite sure D. Law knows what he's doing in terms of the defense because. I just seen a video that D Law put up himself like three, four days ago of him training and running through drills looking looking good. So I doubt he has anything like glaring or anything that but that's like very important or significant. Like I think I just think it's more so of all right, well, we can start trying to publish. There's no reason to rush off. You get what I'm saying? Like with Coop. Like like Coop been having an ankle problem. Before, he's been having an ankle problem for a couple of years now, right? Like, like ankles and like he always gets sprained ankles and stuff like that. So, why rush him? We know who we know who's who's in that department, right? There's only there's only in the defense. I feel like it's only three spots on the defense that's guaranteed to me. I feel like you got the two edge rushers and Randy Gregory and uh, Demarcus Lawrence and Trayvon Diggs. I feel like those are the only three. Guaranteed started, so it's gonna be competition everywhere. So now you get the chance to see other rushers and things of that nature. With um, with Coop going, with Coop not being there, you know, all that's they're gonna speak to CD Lamb playing most. Like um, Cedric Wilson getting more snaps than usual. Like I don't see it's not a big deal to me. I like it. I'm looking forward to it, man. Like I think it's gonna be an exciting camp. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, man. Like, um, I like what, like Jerry said, he's on for the Super Bowl. And a lot of people took that too. Like, this video is going to be kind of all over the place because I'm not just talking about on one particular subject. But, like, I think a lot of people took things out of context yesterday. Not a lot of people, but I've seen, like, Colin Carter say Texas as a state is, um, selfish and things like that. And that's why them in Texas Longhorns don't win. And, the Texans, I don't know what all that got to do with anything, but I just think in sports, a lot of people make mistakes. I think him, to me, him admitting that he made the mistakes and he's the GM and he's the reason why he, he admitting, so to speak, I effed that up, that goes a long way because you live off experiences, right? A lot of people don't get a chance to win three Super Bowls and then realize, damn, I, I effed that up. If I would just made this decision, we could have still been winning, or the sky could have been the limit. So you know, I don't, I don't indict him for that. Every every franchise go through dry spells. This notion that only the Cowboys is the only team in NFL history to ever go through twenty something years without winning the Super Bowl, like, well, come on, that's not true. Tom Brady owns every Super Bowl that New England ever had. How long they've been assisting? Like it happens, bro. So I don't really. Get into that, man. So everybody had their down years. Philly it took what fifty three years to get their first Super Bowl. So it don't matter. Like so, 
That's just my opinion on that, man. Y'all always let me know what you think in the comments. It's your boy Kama. Salute.